Tunnels, a miracle of modern engineering. They make mountains manageable, connect our cities, and can even bring together continents. Places of mystery and adventure, and occasionally, catastrophic disaster. Since the tunnel building boom of the 1960s, the world has become a very different place. More people, more trucks, more traffic, more accidents. The past decade has seen tunnel disasters that have spelt destruction, chaos, and even death. Sie sind alle in den ersten zehn Minuten erstickt. We all got out on the Italian side. Um, the people on the French side were not so fortunate. While investigators pick through the ashes to find out what went wrong, the engineers of new tunneling projects figure out how to put it right. We have to eliminate catastrophic failure. Across the world, the modern tunnel is built from disaster. Tunnels bring people together, connecting towns, countries, and even continents. But the world's tunnels are under pressure. As more traffic and freight passes through them, accidents are on the increase. 1999, a burning truck was abandoned in the Mont Blanc tunnel that connects France and Italy. 39 people died. In 2001, a truck collision in the Gotthard Tunnel caused a massive fire. 11 people died. 1996, a burning cargo train caused the lining of the Channel Tunnel to explode. Serious structural collapse. They said that the concrete was falling on them like shrapnel. From each event come crucial lessons in tunnel design, revised approaches to evacuation and fire control, new construction techniques to prevent tunnel collapse, fresh ideas about accident prevention. Across the world, new tunnels are being built from disaster. One of the most innovative new tunneling projects is the Marmaray Tunnel, under construction in Istanbul, Turkey. At an estimated cost of three and a half billion dollars, the 13.6 kilometer long tunnel system will run 58 meters under the Bosphorus Straits. It will be the deepest immersed tunnel in the world. Istanbul needs the tunnel badly. It has a population of 12 million and terrible traffic problems. It will take the pressure off the Bosphorus Bridge and will be the first tunnel connection between Europe and Asia. The Marmaray project will make the lives of the uh, Istanbul citizens more comfortable and uh, will uh, save them a lot of uh, travel time. The tunnel's designers have much more to consider than commuter comfort and reduced journey times. Their biggest challenge, as for any tunnel construction, is how to overcome fire, a tunnel's single greatest threat, as recent disasters have shown. On March the 24th, 1999, 2,000 kilometers away across Europe, a sequence of events began to unfold that was to have fatal consequences and would influence the design of all new tunnels to come. At 10.46 in the morning, a heavy goods vehicle entered the 11.6 kilometer long Mont Blanc tunnel, which connects France and Italy. 6.7 kilometers inside the tunnel, the driver was shocked to discover his truck was on fire. J'ai regardé mes rétroviseurs et j'ai vu de la fumée du côté droit. Je suis sorti du camion et la fumée était déjà beaucoup plus importante. 
j'ai voulu prendre le stinker, mais je n'ai plus eu l'occasion parce que ça a éclaté en feu toute la cabine. The driver abandoned his vehicle and managed to escape. One of the drivers also using the tunnel that day was British trucker John Whitby. In a period of 18 months, I probably used the Mont Blanc about 40 times. It was a dark, depressive type of tunnel. It seemed to go on forever. Whitby entered the tunnel on the Italian side, en route for France. I was driving for about five minutes into the tunnel and then we started to get traffic approaching that was flashing its lights. Moments later, around 40 vehicles were forced to a halt, including Whitby's truck. We stopped, we got out of the vehicles, and we were looking down the tunnel to see what was going on ahead, uh, whether it was roadworks or whatever, and it was all black. Um, so we just assumed that the, the lights had gone out further down the tunnel. Within minutes, the Italian emergency services began to arrive. The fire brigade came roaring into the tunnel and they shot straight, straight past us, sirens going, and just disappeared into this wall of blackness. And it was only about then that we started to think, well, that black might just be smoke. The abandoned truck was carrying margarine, highly flammable, and by now, burning hot and fast. As the tunnel filled with smoke, there was a series of loud explosions. Like a field gun in the distance. We've got a fire on here, There's uh, that, that's truck tires exploding. The entire tunnel actually shook. The road shook under the feet, the, the, you felt the, the air vibrate and the wall shake. Whitby and others near him were rescued by an Italian fire engine, forced into retreat as the fire escalated. And we all um, got out of there at a very rapid rate of knots. Those nearer the French exit were less fortunate. The smoke surged towards France, stopping the French fire team from entering. Et à leur arrivée, euh, il y avait déjà plusieurs kilomètres euh, de tunnel euh, en fumée. Et les premiers intervenants ont été bloqués dans le tunnel. The drivers on the French side of the blaze were trapped, enveloped in thick smoke. The lucky ones died in the cars. They um, probably two lungfuls of the smoke and they were dead. Uh, it was that toxic and that thick. Some drivers on the French side managed to leave their cars for the supposed safety of the tunnel's fire refuge cells. But these were designed to deal with a small car fire, burning at 800 degrees centigrade for only a few hours. At Mont Blanc, the fire blazed at 1,000 degrees centigrade for 53 hours. And these poor people were basically cooked inside the, in, inside the safety cell. Um, and I, I honestly cannot think of a worse way to die. It took five days for the tunnel to cool down before the fire services could enter. They were horrified by what they found. For the du tunnel du Mont Blanc, there were temperatures up to 1000